So you own a local business. How would you go about ranking first or in other words, being recommended or cited in these new AI search engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity, or even Twitter or X is one called Grok? Because again, yeah, people might still be searching for Plumber Dallas, for example, on Google and people will continue doing so, right? But right, people will also search for this stuff on AI first LLM type search engines. Now with this, I, it's not to so say that the classic Google searches will go away. Like, please go watch this video and this video because they go over a bit more in depth on what the future of these classic search engines looks like and how to actually optimize in depth for these LLM or AI based search engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity or Grok. Okay, so please do watch these two videos here on YouTube for free to get a bit more context, okay? Because it's gonna be a bit more of an advanced video, excuse me. So, uh, how do you do it? Let's say, for example, my, um, my search prompt here was give me the number of the cheapest plumber in Dallas, Texas. Now, you'll notice that the search intent right behind what, it, what, it, what the prompt is that you put on here is very different. You, you would never search for this on Google, right? If you were searching for, if you wanted to find a plumber, a cheap plumber on Google, you just say, for example, plumber, uh, cheap plumber Dallas, right? So it is different, right? It is different the way us users interact with these two products. ChatGPT is a product, Google is a product, right? Google gives you a list, like a list of sites, right? GPT gives you a more conversational based type thing and you can say, uh, I, I, want, I want one near my house at da, 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 okay? Or I want one with only women, women friendly business or black friendly business or whatever, right? It's, it's more of a conversational type tone, okay? You can iterate back and forth. Now, big question is how do you make it show up here? Like for example, in Perplexity, and all these are different, right? GPT, uh, because they're owned by Microsoft, right? Microsoft owns Bing. You can expect that the results that show up here, right, are heavily influenced and there's a heavy correlation between the results that show up on Bing, okay? Uh, for example, for Grok, you'll notice that, not for this search in the Pacific, but for a lot of, a lot of prompts, you, you, you'll see that the sources they cite are X posts or Twitter posts. So it gives more weight to the posts on their social media. It only makes sense, right? Again, not that these are biased, but they, they all take information from the same places, but some of them put more weight into certain things. Grok on X posts, GPT on Bing rankings, right? And Perplexity as well, Perplexity, excuse me, puts a lot of weight on YouTube too. You'll notice that from, for a lot of your prompts, it'll give you like a video here on the side. Now, in this case, because it knows I'm looking for a, a local business, I asked it, give me the number of the cheapest plumber in Dallas, Texas. Whatever, la, 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 it gives me the phone number. How do we make sure that we, you appear here? Okay, and if you don't, how do you make sure you appear here? Because this is a map, right? Now, this is not a Google map, okay? This is not a Google map. So just because you have your GMB set up on Google or GBP set up on Google, doesn't mean you'll show up here, right? These guys are called Mapbox, okay? And they do not take in data from, uh, from Google, okay? They take in data from um, these guys right here, OpenStreetMap and a bunch more different things, okay? So they are not Google, just know that. And most likely, when, being, uh, when GPT has something similar, right, maybe down on the side, a map, it will take info from Bing, okay? But we'll, we'll cover that in a bit here uh, because that's, that's important because, again, because different LLM-based search engines take in info and weigh info from all these different places in different amounts, right, you will, you will have to optimize for the, the classic search engine that's behind what this is for. I'll cover this in a bit, don't worry. But going back here to the maps, right? Uh, these guys taking data from OpenStreetMap, okay? And so the thing is that um, they're taking data from OSM, uh, Foursquare, so business listings. So for example, Yelp, Foursquare, Hot Frog. So these are yellow pages. These are all places where you, by default, if you own a local business, you'd have your site listed on there, right? For example, we can go here to Yelp and look for a just do Dallas Plumber Yelp, right? By default, you wanna make sure that on Yelp and on all these business listing sites, your business shows up. That's key, right? Have your business name, have photos, have reviews, have what you do, have as much context as possible because all these AI-based search engines will screen, scheme through these and pick up on all this info. Read your reviews, read your pricing, read your, the services you do, right? And this is very important because these search engines don't make up any, they don't make up data, right? They, they don't just get data out of thin air. They don't, they don't just 
invent what they're showing you, right? They gather data from multiple sources and based on your search prompt, show you data that they think is relevant for your search prompt, right? If, for example, I had written, give me the, plum, the, the cheapest plumbing in Dallas that does this specific type of service. Well, maybe they would, they would skim through, to, through Yelp, right? And look for one that did that specific type of service, okay? Like toilet repair, I don't know, okay? So my point here is that you gotta, you gotta make sure that you are busy and are listed in all of these listing sites. Because of course, if it is a local search, right? Doesn't matter what you're searching for on GPT, Grok, or Perplexity, right? They will always take in info from business listing sites. It, that's only, it only makes sense for them to do that, right? Because these AIs know that the best place to gather business info is from trust, trusted sources like Yelp, where businesses go out there and list their sites there, okay? Now, uh, they also pull in data. This is all for the, for these maps right here, the map, the map box that are the ones that are being recommended here, okay, on, on Perplexity, right? Um, they also taking data from data partnerships and aggregations, first party and client contributed data, so people actually cont contributing for the maps. Uh, they don't take data from, from, from Google, okay? While Google Maps gets business data from GB, GMB, so the, your, your listing, so you're gonna go here to Dallas Plumber, right? Um, these are all GBP, so Google My Business listings, right? These are all GBPs, okay? Uh, not these, yeah, those ones, or these ones, right? These are all GBPs, okay? So they don't take info from here, right? Mapbox does not use GBMB data, right? They rely on OpenStreetMap, Foursquare, and commercial sources, so they rely on other sources. All this to say that just because you have a fully optimized GBP, right, doesn't mean, necessarily mean that you're gonna show up on here, right? Now maybe for Google's LLM, maybe you will, because it only makes sense, right, for ChatGPT, right, they get in data from Bing, for Google's one, they get in data from Google, right? For perplexity, they get in data from this Mapbox tool, right? For Grok, I have no idea, but I mean, all these are still developing, okay? Um, so this is just the beginning. The, the thing you need to know here, and the thing that I explained in the two courses that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is none of these AI search engines um, come up with info out of thin air, right? They all gather info from all of these sources on the web, online, right? The, whether that's your website, whether it's your G, BP, Google My Business Profile, whether that's uh, LinkedIn, your business LinkedIn, your Twitter, right, your Facebook page, your Instagram, whether that's your Yelp listing, your Foursquare listing, right, all these LLMs, right, they go and find all this data, right, they go get up, get the data, right, and then for them to show you in the product, it's the, the product itself, which is called Perplexity or, or ChatGPT, this is just a product, it's just a front end, right, for us you know, to use as users, right, Based on the prompt, right, they show you info based on the information they gathered based on your prompt and give you that info based on the prompt. But they went out and found the info. So you gotta make sure that on your site, right, you have a proper site, right? Just open this one right here. There's a reason why I was recommended this guy right here because they are a plumber in Dallas, of course, right? It's, it's the basics of SEO or, yeah, it's the basics of search engine optimization. This is still a search engine, right? The reason why I was recommended this one is because my prompt, I want a plumber in Dallas. So they went out and found all the sites with a plumber in Dallas, plain and simple. So of course you gotta make your site relevant, right? If you want to show up for um, 24 hour plumbing service or a toilet clogging fixing or drainage fixing, right? You of course have to mention this stuff on your site, because the first thing these guys will do is they'll crawl your site and find, okay, is this website relevant for what the actual, for what the user is actually searching for? If it is, great, if not, it isn't, right? This is the same concept for Google, right? When I'm searching for Plumber Dallas, there's a reason why all these show up, because these are all plumbers in Dallas. And you know, this may, this may be super simple, but it is simple, this is how it works, it, it is simple, okay? So, you gotta make sure that you optimize for these prompts. And think about it, like put yourself in your customer's shoes and think, what, what would a, a potential customer be searching for on these uh, LLMs? Because the way in which users search for on LLMs is different than the way they search for in, um, in the classic search engines, okay? And I know what you might be thinking, yeah, yeah, but Vasco, I already do this by default, right? I already rank on Google, so do I really need to change anything to be ranked or recommended or cited here? Well, not necessarily, right? Not necessarily because there's a high correlation between the, the rankings on Google and Bing and your brand mentions all across the, the web and how you show up here. Because the people who show up here, right, are people that these search engines, right, GPT, Grok, Perplexity, know 
are relevant for a certain search. And again, the same principle apply. And so if I had to give you a task list, well, it'll be super simple. One, have a website, okay? Two, make sure you do the classic SEO for Google and, and, uh, and Bing. Because the things you'll do for the classic SEO, which basically optimizing your site to make it relevant for certain keywords, are the same things that will make it show up here, okay? If you don't know how to do the classic SEO, well, go watch this video right here. I'll put them here. Go watch this video right here and this one. These are long, long, long courses on local SEO. How to specifically do local SEO. So I want to make sure your site shows up on Google Maps, Bing Maps, okay? This one's a five hour long course and it's like a two hour long course. Go watch these courses because I know these, these seem like two simple steps, right? But they have, they're very, they have very deep, right? They're, they're very deep in, in what you require for them, okay? So again, we have a website, do the classic SEO because a lot of the things that I teach you in these two courses that allow you to have success in ranking your site on local, on, uh, on the classic search engines will inherently allow you to also be recommended here in, the, in these uh, AI-based uh, uh, search engines. Three, list your um, business on a bunch of business directories and as many as you can. Four, because again, they, they will take in data from there, right? Four, be active on social. Create a brand, right? You got to create a brand. And a brand means something that has a voice. And the best way to put your brand voice out there is through social media. So have a Twitter, have a Facebook page, right? Have a LinkedIn, right? Have a brand. Fifth, make sure that on your site, you put out content there daily, weekly, blog posts, new pages, news, right? Make sure your site isn't just a static, static thing. It needs to be a living entity. Put out content about your brand. Put out content about the services you do. Put out success stories about your clients. Put out as much, as much stuff, excuse me, about your business as you possibly can, right? Straightforward, super simple. That's basically it. Simple, not easy. But again, please go watch these two courses I mentioned for local SEO. They'll give you a bunch of context into exactly what you need to do. And then, after that, go watch these two ones for LLM SEO, basically how to do SEO in specific and the whole, the, the backbone of all this that I went just over right here, because uh, it's super important. That's it. Any questions you have, let me know. And by the way, if you want my help to help you rank uh, on both, honestly, both Google Bing and all these AI search engines, go to tryjournalist.com forward slash call, and I can guarantee a 25% increase in non branded Google search traffic in 180 days. And if I don't, I work for free until I do. Plain and simple, that's the offer. We have a bunch of results down here. You can scroll down and then you can just book a call, call with me just so I can see if you qualify, like what your business is, what you sell, etc. And then, yeah, it's basically that's, that's the offer. I can guarantee you'll get 20% more traffic or I just work for free until I do. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.